Today we're doing a wheel fill on the front axle of this semi trailer. Today we're using a tire bar, an air jack, and we're using an air cat air guide for the tire. After you supplied air to the emergency side and your trailer's jacked up to a comfortable height for you. To make sure the tire is hooked up, it's just spin as so. Once you remove the tire lug nuts, it's time to take the tire off. I'll show you how to This is supposed to drum, allows you to take the drum off. Once you take the flag dress, you see has not engaged anymore. So now we take our dolly drum. Brake drum dolly. Slide it up, take the brake off. This is how you remove the brake drum dolly. Blue point, sled point. Now we move on to the hub cap. You remove all the screws that you see here. They're a half. Take them out, drain them. Drain them. We don't want to remodel homes, bro. You do? Yeah. While it's still draining, the worst thing is your keeper. You want to take your keeper out. What you do is take a little flat head, slot there, slot there. You have a slot here, you have a slot here. So all you do is take one slot, push it in, peel it up. So it come out, just like that. Same thing with the side. And you just uninstall your keeper. Your keeper just holds it in place. Take your keeper out, put it there. Next you want to unscrew. Once you get this all unscrewed out, you should actually pull the whole hub assembly out. Almost got it. Boom. You make sure you have your spacer. It's not really a spacer, I thought it was right here. But it's just your bearing. This is a bearing, a small bearing. Boom. See all that residual sitting in there? What you just want to do, you take it. Well, I have to free it up with some, a hammer. You want to smack this side just gently to free it up. Sometimes, let's see if I can just... Okay, pull up. While it's still draining.
Look at the wheel seal, that's the seal. Luckily it came off. Usually they get stuck right there, but let's get it. Once you have it off, you want to take your good seal puller from Mac Tools for smooth $80. And This is a little, this is a little stuck, so I'm gonna have to put the phone down. So basically, take a seal puller to take this seal out, so I can get to that bigger bearing. All right, got the seal on, so now I can go ahead and get the big bearing. That's it. As you can see, this seal broke into three pieces with the seal puller from Mac Tools. So, trash this. All right. The next thing is, you want to clean this as best as you can. I usually either use, usually not. I ain't even gonna lie to you guys. I just use this. I cheat. Get that nice and clean and smooth back down. Got to get all that smooth back down, all the some perfumes. You want to take it some brake clean. Pop baby cap on it. Have a couple sheets of paper towel. Or just. Get it nice and soft so everything can just go down. That's the good thing about these pig mats. But let me get around the edges first, all the way around. Once you get it all nice and pretty, you want to take every single part that came off of it, besides the old wheel seal that's going to throw away. And you want to send them through the parts washer. But we don't have a big enough parts washer for this, so I have to manually scrub it. And while manually scrubbing, I usually manually scrub all of these. Next, you want to get a new, your new part, your new seal, basically. And for this, this is a tapered axle. So we're using a 43. And by 43, they have the parts on there for you. So if you read right here, 43, they have a 23 and 43. So 23 is straight, 43 is tapered. And we also have the new hubcap gasket that goes over that. But for this, we're going to basically work backwards. You take your big bearing, put it up in there, make sure it spins. You take your new seal, and you get your seal installed. You put it up on there, you seal, and it should be flush all the way around. After that, it should do this. Boom. You put it up in there, and so, you take your hammer, Boom, 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 until you hear a thud. You hear that thud, then you're absolutely good. Your seal is connected to the hub. Once you get everything up on there, nice and firm and flush, you want to take your castle nut and start threading it on there, like so. I have the torque wrench set to 200 foot pounds. You want to torque this 200 till you hear the click. Till you hear the click. After you torque it, spin one full rotation. Torque it 200, spin one full rotation. One more time 200, torque it. After you spin it, you, you see these tits, you back it off one tit. So this tit won't be here, it will be here. So you take that tit, put it up over here. After you move that tit from here to here, you torque it down to 100. After you torque it down to 100, you're basically ready to put the hubcap back on. Give me five minutes. Two hundred, click, spin, spin, one spin, 
200, spin again. One more 200. 200, spin again. Once so you get that squared the weight and uh, torqued correctly, this is how you can tell if, this is called a tachometer meter. You put it up on here, it's a push and pull test. Basically you push it and you pull it. You should either get between zero and five. Really three and five is the best. So you pull it or you push it and so you get two. And then you add that two to whatever you get when you pull it. So if you pull it and you get Two again, then two plus two is four. Or if you get one pushing and three pulling, then you should be straight in between. Once I got my torque specs how I want them, I went on ahead and installed the keeper. Orange side faces out, the black side should be on the back side. Orange face out. After you do that, my next step is my gasket. Put the gasket on, and then I put the hub cap on. This next step is pretty simple. You're just adding oil, and there's two ways to add oil with this type of hub cap. You can either take off the hub seal, throw it in there, or you can add this, add it through the top. But since we have the hub seal, we're using JT7 lubricant, gear all-purpose oil. Bring it up in there like so, and seal. Now this, since this is a brand new wheel seal, it's gonna basically be a waiting game. What I mean by waiting game, cause you have to feel it, you take it out and then you let it basically push itself back. So this is how I'm gonna counter like that. I'm just gonna spin it until it all gets to where it needs to be. It lubricates. And I'm going to wait till it dies down because it has two lines on You want about right here. You see how much I put in it and it's already disappearing? That's because it's sucking back into the hub itself. Once I fill it all the way up with oil, stay tuned. Once you get the drum on, see how it's already looked. I got to fill it back up. Once you get the drum on, push all the way back. Do not forget to tighten down your brake with your slack adjuster. This time you're tightening. You go all the way down, tighten it all the way down, and then you back off half a turn. So this is the turn, back off half of a turn. Last but least is these times. So this is how we're gonna do this. This valve stem is here. I'm gonna to have to try to put the other valve stem up here, across from each other. Yep. 
Got it, all of them on. Top off with some more oil, and that's how you do a complete wheel show. Now I gotta do the same thing to the other side. 